Hacker Triple Seven here. So Photoshop Gen Fill or Generative Fill is now available in Photoshop. And as you can see here, I am in my start menu and I have my Adobe folder here. So let's go ahead and launch Photoshop and I'll show you. So this is Photoshop version 24.6 and Generative Fill is now available. Now, in order to access this, you would ensure that you downloaded the latest version of Photoshop. Um, I've currently downloaded it through Adobe Cloud. So once you've downloaded the latest version of Photoshop, what you could do is to get Firefly support for Photoshop. Now you can search online and you would be able to find the Firefly support for Photoshop. Now this is, as you can see, this is actually Photoshop I'm in. This is 24.6. However, the Firefly feature is not fully integrated as yet. So in future updates, it will be perfect, but it is here for now. We have the generative field we could type here and generate. So this is actually great news. Um, for those of you who wanted to try the generative field and you'd have to download Photoshop beta, now you can go ahead and use the typical Photoshop to have access to this feature. Now, as you can see, we easily generated a bird here. So I'm not going to go through the whole process of using the generative field tool, but this is just a synopsis of what it has in store and an update, update preview basically to indicate that it is now available in the normal version of Photoshop. So feel free to update. Um, install Firefly support for Photoshop and let me know if this works for you. So if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. And once again, if you're trying to use Genfill, if you're not seeing this pop-up uh, window here, you need to ensure that you go to Window, Enable Contextual Taskbar to be able to access Genfill. So that is basically it, how to access this tool on Photoshop 24.6. So thank you for watching. Hope this video was informative. Hacker Triple Seven out.